unique size. He can be a great, great talent for this ball club. On the ground with Hammond this time, and he fights for yards. Kenny Johnson, the talented freshman wideout in motion, but it's Hammond again. Spins forward for four yards for Pitt. Hammond, running lane and a touchdown. Pitt's on the board with Rodney Hammond. This is what you want. Benny Radisha has one-on-one. -on -one. You got to make that tackle. You can't dive at the... After a 14th first down for Pitt. Hammond running behind Epps. He's got a touchdown. Second for Rodney Hammond. Set. They've got overload on both sides, and then they just wash everything. I mean, it's a great, you know, problem to have for this pit offense. They've rushed for 134 yards. Dracovic set up the screen, and off the deflection, it's Hammond with a burst down the sideline. And Hammond finally pushed out of bounds by Maximus Pulley, saving six. And they'll let him snap this ball, so maybe getting away with one right there. That was a 30-yard play to Mumfield on the run to the near sideline and then forced out of bounds. Rodney Hammond Jr. Plays really hard and had a touchdown there in the goal line in the second quarter against Walford. Hammond Jr. on the carry near the 45-yard line. And here is Dracovic. First down give is Rodney Hammond. He will cross the 25 on the first carry of the game and Miles Murphy. Off that Tar Heel defense makes the stop on Hammond. 24th career game tonight for Hammond. Pittsburgh on the opening drive of the game, and Hammond trying to get to the corner. Banged out of bounds. Gray was the first guy there, and then Cayman Rucker shoved him out. That's Bartholomew, the tight end. Hammond again, running right at the Carolina front. Kevin Hester wraps him up, but that'll be enough to move the chains in a first down. Carter Johnson, the tight end, in motion. Another give, this is Hammond, into a stack, and taken down at the 10. This Pittsburgh offensive line tonight, coached by the veteran Dave Borbley and under Frank Signetti's coordination for 10 for 10. Seven touchdowns, three field goals in their first three games. Dracovic hands, this is Hammond trying to scurry to the far side. He'll score standing. is good. Rodney Hammond's third rushing score of the year has given Pitt a 7-0 lead. Carolina gets the ball next. The faculty, the staff, you know, so many people touch my life in a really meaningful way. And um, to be able to come here and, and thank them, you know, that, that's what I really enjoyed about this weekend. That people, like, they turned up and showed up. And, uh, Taylor, he'll have to come back here one day to go about 90 minutes from here to get fitted for the gold jacket in Canton. There's a, a little screen again. Boy, the flat. Tim, what's happened here strategically? Dracovic has found a lot of money. Five for five is Dracovic. 26 yards, first and 10 for the Panthers. Here's Hammond through the middle of the Carolina defense into the Tar Heels secondary to the 31. So you got to find somebody else to replicate what he does. Johnson's the closest thing I think you have to him. And here is Rodney Hammond racing into the secondary before Elijah Huzzy and Biggers finally corral him along with Stick Lane. Trying now to see if they can't respond to the Tar Heel field goal. They air hands to Hammond again. And he got knocked down. Lane and Tavius Stick Lane. Third down and 10 and conservative. Hammond breaks a tackle. Takes it out past the 30. Seven yards, tackle made by Allen Tisdale, and it brings up fourth down and a pit punt. Second down and 10. It's Hammond. Seems to always find extra yards. That's what he told us this week. He feels like his strength is extra yards when our team needs it. Drizzle continues with his temps hovering around 50 degrees. And he's going to run it for a first down. Past the 40. Rodney Hammond Jr. And out of bounds on the Louisville side of the 50. Number five turnover on the year. For Pitt. How many times have we talked about, hey, the ball just hasn't gone their way? 
It was for a touchdown at 75 yards from Dracovic. Ground game. Right side. To the end zone edge and short of it. Down near the two. On the run by Hammond Jr. But just number one, take care of the rock. Bayer with a conservative play. Hammond Jr. trying to spin his way up towards the first down. Christian set the record straight. Yes. In our meeting yesterday. Will hand off left side Hammond Jr. The hitters they talk about hitting being contagious turnovers can be contagious as well Three big turnovers for a team that has been struggling to just find one here and there By the way the Bayer TD pass James in the first quarter 46 yards the bub means the first points that Louisville has allowed in the first quarter all season. I feel comfortable out there. 12 of 15, 93 yards, has the touchdown. Got plenty of time over the middle. It is caught and complete. The Steelers, that is, builds their own facility, and Pitt takes over that entire building. Nice gain by Rodney Hammond Jr. What Pitt is all about. Gaping hole up the middle and a nice run. A sprint by Hammond. For the first down, that offensive line is going to keep it on the ground. Hammond with a nice hole over the right side of that offensive line. Playing smart, making sure you know where you're supposed to fit are critical. It'll cost you if you don't get it right. On second and two, they run over the more proficient side of that offensive line, the left side, and pick up the first down. Hammond again with respect to rushing. This is Hammond into the boundary. Nice spin move. Falls forward and picked up about four yards on the play. Rodney Hammond out of Booker T. Washington High School. And how they play takes on a lot of importance. Got to get their poise back right continue, here. Hammond on the run. Exactly. To continue to compete. Continue. They run it here. Rodney Hammond over the right side of that offensive line. So you alluded to the fact that it's not so much maybe... It's always about the score. You always want to win, of course. but right now. Bayer hands it off. Down to the 28. I think the prevailing thought in game day is either uh, Ole Miss at Georgia or Miami at Florida State. Night games in Tallahassee, uh, they just hit a little differently, Mark. Yes, sir. Wide receiver is going to have enough time to get downfield. That's going to be the big question in this one is how the offensive line can protect him. Saw that graphic. Pitt has not had a lot of success on third down. Syracuse brings just four. They connect on the pitch and catch. It's going to be shy of the first down. Hammond out of the backfield making the catch. From the orange, 37. Vayner the hand off to Hammond. Stretching it to the right side. Is able to get through the hole. And picks up a good seven, eight yards on first down. Hard play action. Throw it to your wide receiver. But means at the top. Instead, they're going to keep it on the ground and pick up the first down with Hammond. Yeah, Chris, you know how I feel about second and ones. He knows he's going to get another opportunity to make that right. Now second and ten for the defense hold. Up the gut! Rodney Hammond, Jr. 42 yards on the run. And how about Rodney Hammond, Jr. in a big gash up the middle for 40? Huge run. You see the safety coming down late into the box at this stage of the game to let him throw there on first down to make it second and one. Can they get the first? Hammond says yes. Makes a cut. One cut away. Rodney Hammond Jr. Touchdown, Pitt. Rodney Hammond busted one for 40 earlier. This time he goes 66 to put Pitt on top, 24-16. We got another good one here on a Thursday night. You put the trust in him before to make a throw on one of these plays. And there's Hammond creasing through again. Boy, has he been big here in the fourth quarter. They really not allow each team to get to the alley to find those extra yards. Second and 14. Yarnell. Dumps it off to Hammond, a wheel right out of the backfield. Hammond lowers the shoulder there and picks up the first down. 